I come back. Uh, last couple of weeks I haven't done a lot because uh, I was busy and sick and I was just not very fit and so we didn't make a lot of progress on the generator project. Uh, but I shopped a little bit on eBay and uh, we found this thing. <laughs> you can't beat that. It was uh, eight pounds or so, ten dollars. Three gauges, oil, temperature and volts, uh, the sender unit and the temperature sensor. And yeah, obviously the thing comes from China, but uh, I don't care. It's not life critical. So we, we're gonna fit those, uh, do a bit of electrics and things like that very soon. Well, the unit is working and we use it every time we're in the shop. So uh, we just need to do some more work. I'll put some footage from, uh, I'll put some progress footage uh, after that here. And uh, the next video should be hopefully coming soon. Then. Uh, we have some pressure on another project, so we need to get that thing finished. It's nice to have some decent heating in the shop because if I fire up the generator, I put some uh, electric heaters on it and uh, also the, the radiator fan blows the heat out and 10-15 uh, minutes and the shop is actually warm so you can work here anyway uh, yeah we're gonna fit that soon and uh, do a bit of 12 volt electrics I found another alternator uh, with, a, with a smaller pulley on it already so we're gonna fit that I think it's a rover alternator handed arms so that's another shop we also received our turbocharger which I was talking about a while ago. It's actually the very same unit. All it needs is rotating, uh, I think the the compressor side needs to be rotated a little bit, but that's about it. It's just, it look, everything looks the same. Uh, flange dimension is everything uh, out in a, oh, Outlet flange, inlet flange, everything looks the same. So it's got some staining from storage, but it's brand new. It's never been used, and I paid a bargain for it. Uh, I think it was the equivalent of fifty dollars. <laughs> I was a steal, I think, because these units are a bit more expensive when new. Anyway, let's carry on with other things. So we're gonna sort the exhaust here. I just face that off so it's straight, and uh, we're gonna put a chamfer on here so it's not that much resistance. Um, I don't know why the hole is offset, but uh, I can't make it any bigger because I got a 50 millimeter pipe and that's about right. So, but we put a proper chamfer on there just to make sure it's not restrictive. So let's check that up and. Uh, uh, turn it. So power cut. So we chamfered it here, and uh, we're gonna weld the other side and fit it to the engine. We fitted a an old cheap exhaust. Uh, the fan heater is on cold, just blowing through the radiator here. Uh, we temporarily fitted an air filter. It's actually a motorbike filter, but uh, I'm waiting for a cheap air filter box. So we have the same filters as on the Jeep. Uh, just ordered one. Second hand, it was cheap. Uh, anyway. Uh, we sprayed a bit of coolant here. I think we have a leak here. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, yeah, what else? How uh, we fitted the neutral. It was a bit tricky to find the neutral inside, but uh, I found it finally. So we can run the single phase as well. Tomorrow we're going to start the end of frame. Lay out everything. I think we got the final dimensions. 
Look at that. Goofy bought me a cup Christmas. I like it. So we got the under frame la laid out. Basically it's just we're deliberately a bit offset because the battery goes here and a few little heavy things. And uh, that's how it looks like. Just heavy little jack stands at the moment. Just some jack stands and Anyway, that's it for today. Dinner time. Bit of overhang at the front, just in case I put radio at the front. I ordered a smaller one. Let's see. Let's put a piece of cardboard over, over the top. All right. That's, that should be it for today. Do a bit of measurement alignment <coughs> and it's just welded. So that's gonna happen tomorrow. So we prepped everything for welding. Just make sure everything is okay. Checked it with a with a square. Everything looks good. So we're gonna scrub it and weld it. That's how it's gonna be. I actually narrowed it by two centimeters here because I don't need that much, and uh, that makes it 68 on the outer dimensions. Uh, so if you take the exhaust off, there's a good chance it fits through a door <coughs> because if I if I design things like that. I try to uh, make them fit through doors. You never know. Uh, it fits on the trailer as well. It's shorter than the trailer. It's narrower than the, tr the small trailer. Yeah, just thinking forward. You never know. Okay, uh, let's brush that and weld it. I'm not going to show the welding. Uh, it's just ordinary stick welding. All right, let's do that. Oh yeah, we got our air filter. Housing. It's a cheap Patriot air filter housing. I think this is the same air filter as the Cherokee, so I can recycle my air filters of the Cherokee because I change them quite often. And uh, so I've got a light here because I change them quite often. And uh, so we can recycle them in the generator. It looks a bit different than the Cherokee, but the filter is the same. The intake is here. I need to find a hose. I think eventually a um, Grand Cherokee hose will fit here. I'll need to check that because I got the same in my car, which is the Grand Cherokee intake and uh, the resonator. I removed that. Okay, uh, we'll, f we'll find something. Anyway, let's weld that. So, we got it sitting back on the floor. On blocks now at the moment. Um, uh, we, may, we may cut a little bit off. A bit long. We'll see. I'll wait for the radiator. Hopefully that's coming tomorrow. Uh, it's a, about half the size because we don't need such a big one here. It's only 25 kilowatt engines. Uh. All right. Uh, yeah, we fitted some exhaust pipe, so we run it inside. It doesn't stink that much anymore. Uh, that's not permanent. We're gonna put that outside. The exhaust <coughs> will be outside, so that the pipe just comes out and the the exhaust pot is outside because I don't want to I don't want too much heat inside uh, yeah battery goes down here uh, we need to make a battery tray 
Oh, that's going to happen tomorrow. Anyway, that's it for today. Dinner time. Carry on tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time. Well, it is running for about half an hour. Cold temperature is over here. Still kind of warm out there. Uh, the works are quite up to temperature.